Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Subnautica. So today, we are back after, for me, a very long time. I haven't played this game in quite a bit, but there is a new update. The Siling, uh, Silent Running Update, wow. And I think this update pretty much revolves around the Cyclops. So actually, let's just jump into the game and see what we can find differently. But I have kind of seen there's a lot of UI changes and probably the scariest change is the Cyclops is now destructible so this makes the game a lot harder for me okay we are in and yeah I can already see I can already see some changes the UI is a little bit different I think some of these tools look different real quick let's get this message Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, uh, how many of. I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? We're a six seater, and we aren't even slightly equipped to handle this. Our pilot last attempt at a planet landing. In the Academy Simulator? Oh, it's a bad situation. But so are all the alternatives. Okay. So, they know now. Oh, creatures. Okay. So, and also, the game might be running a bit smoother now. I don't know. I recently got a couple new computer parts. Got some more RAM sticks, motherboard, stuff like that. I might make a vlog about it. Who knows? But... Yeah, so these things look different, I think. I don't know, it might be just hallucinating, but yeah. And then we, what we should do is go check out the Cyclops, because that's where most of the changes are. But before we do that, let's go get some food. Of course, let's use Handy Dandy. Okay, and I guess we'll be good. Let's go check out the Cyclops. So now, once again, the re... Honestly, I don't like this update. This update is going to screw me over hard. Because my main part of this game is this game scares the crap out of me. The only reason I even survived was because I knew the Cyclops was indestructible. So I said, it doesn't matter where I go because the Cyclops is indestructible. The worst that can happen is... Oh. Let's go fix that. The worst part that can happen is I run out of power. But, okay, let's see where this damage is. There it is. Which one's the repair tool? I think this one's it. Having a little bit of lag here. But now I have the issue of... Oh, like this. Holy crap. Things are now all of a sudden much scarier when I know that things can kill me so now I have to worry about actually now breaking the Cyclops which this also means we're gonna move everything from the Cyclops back into the base because I don't feel like losing the Cyclops and also losing all my items while we're at it so we're definitely gonna have to move the items back so I really don't feel like losing them. Is there any any other damage? Okay, cool. So let's go back. Now let's check out some of the changes of the actual Cyclops itself. Yeah, that was a change right there. Your Cyclops can now have holes in them. Whoa. I think that's a new animation. Okay, so let's kind of take a look around. Let's let's start front to back first, I guess. Decoys. So you, you can now build the decoys. Now... How do I explain the Cyclops? So, what happens now is, the, obviously, the entire eight re revolved around this. They added a bunch of different things. They added different running modes. So I'm pretty sure there's silent running mode. So, there's going to be different ways to protect the Cyclops. It won't be just super vulnerable. You've got, I think, some kind of shield power. You have this decoy that you can launch if something's chasing you. You could obviously just fix the Cyclops, but yeah, let's go over here. I'm pretty sure there's something new over here. Yep, this is the new kind of like, it kind of just shows you what's going on. So, drink that. 
Yeah. So we're kind of low on energy here, so we'll have to go get some more of that. But, yeah, you know what? Here, eh, I'll take him out in a bit. And then, yeah, decoy. I still don't know how to use this, but I'll figure it out eventually. But, yeah, we need to move all of this stuff back inside of the base because I don't feel like losing it. Okay, now let's go here. This is all new. I, I, this, this is here before. Okay, what? Okay, this is just the customization. It looks like this is just a health bar for it. Okay. So let's get in the pilot. Now, this is where a lot of the changes are coming in. So we have the, a radar to kind of show what we're doing. We have activate external camera system. Oh, so this now this is how we... That's how we pilot that now. We've got the decoy over here if we have one. Okay, and then this is our health. I think this is our noise. So let's see, we got... Emergency speed. So this is like super fast. Let's get out of here. I don't feel like dying speed. Probably use more energy. Standard, so it's not too loud. And then this is silent. Oh, and that's for like, oh crap, there's a Cyclops nearby, I need to get away. Okay, so those are the new running modes, kind of the new UI, so that is kind of cool. And I know there's a, a couple other things in the update, I'm pretty sure there's new precursor caves or something. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the update. Now, of course, I'm not going to make an entire video just on the update, we gotta do some other things, so give me a minute and I'll figure out something to do. Okay guys, so I think what the plan is, I didn't think of anything specific to do so i'm gonna go ahead make some more power cells for the cyclops and i guess like always we're just gonna go exploring because i have pretty much nothing better to do some of the things that i wanted to do is i want to get the prawn grappling arm and again i've been wanting this for literally episodes you could look back on them i still want to get that stupid um just like how there's the battery charger, a power cell charger. I've been looking for it forever. I just, I haven't been able to find it. And it's been making me really mad. So hopefully, maybe we can find that. But quickly, we do have to make some power cells. What I'm also going to do is I'm also going to move a lot of, like, random objects. Like, uh, like the titanium and stuff over to the base. Okay, so I did all of the moving. The Cyclops is almost completely empty now. And yeah, I think we're good to go. Oh, there is a message. And I keep... I'm trying to find the external hull damage. I just can't find it. Uh, where is the message thingy? It's right here. Sunbeam broadcasting to all survivors of the Aurora. We've covered more than half the distance, so hold on in there. We're scanning the planet for dry land as we speak. Couldn't have picked a less convenient parking spot. But we'll be in touch as soon as we have a landing site for you. Sunbeam out. Okay, cool. So they're they're coming. That's good. And it keeps telling me hull damage, hull damage, but I don't exactly know how to fix it, so. Yeah. Does it tell me where? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Okay, so the left side, the top. Ah, there it is. Oh, ouchie. Ah, there's the, there's the, the green guy. All right, there we go. Please, there you go. 
It's all nice and fixed. Yeah, this is gonna get real annoying. Because I'm gonna have to fix this very often. This will take a lot of time off. See, I, I don't know how I don't know how I feel about the whole Cyclops update. I kind of wish the Cyclops was still indestructible. I mean, as a survival standpoint, I see why it makes the game more exciting. That's what the game is supposed to be like. But from a let's play standpoint, it kills me because it's everything is gonna take so much more time, and I could lose everything so much easier. So yeah, I don't know. This is good for the game, very bad for YouTubers. I guess we can like park right here and explore. Come on, come on, come on. No, come back. I don't have much oxygen left. Come back. Ha. <laughs> All right, we gotta get going though. In case, come here, you, you fast little. What is this guy doing? Hello. Ow, ouch. There we go. Got the sand shark. Okay, so there's this life pod here. Apparently, I missed it because there's a thingy in here. If I could get to it, abandoned PDA. And it gave me nothing. What is this stuff? Flares. Yeah, here, actually, I'll use that real quick. Okay, we better get back to our ship here. Are you kidding me? From where? What, what could have possibly hit me? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get good at spotting these. What is this? Oh, it's lithium. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these things have new models and stuff, so I don't exactly know them. But there is the two things. Okay, cool. Okay, and I'm pretty sure the power cell charger can be found in these mushroom forests. So that's good. Holy crap, that's a reaper. Holy crap. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Peace out, dog. Nah, fam. Peace. Holy crap. Nah, I'm good. Whew. Ugh, sometimes I really don't like this game. Man, I was in the middle of collecting some resources. and if, The funny thing is I looked everywhere. Of course the thing just wasn't around. And, and then and then I look up and then just bam, Reaper, just just chilling, chilling like a villain, mind its own business. All right, I guess let's check out the island a little bit. That Reaper really kind of scared me, but I I guess the Reaper can get to us if we're on land, right? Right. And that surprises me most is I've gotten a whole damage from a lot of things, but for some reason. I didn't get whole damage from the Reaper, like, out of all things. Okay, now we got a slight problem. That thing wants to kill me. Wherever it went, that thing does want to kill me. So we need to be slightly careful. Oh, I am just... So glad <laughs> I'm on land. God, I hate the ocean so much. Like I love water and all, but oh my gosh, <sighs> the ocean ain't a fun place. Yeah, I just I just want to let you guys know <laughs> how much pain it has been to play this stupid game. 
You guys might think it's all fun and games making videos, but this game has legitimately put my health in danger. Okay. I guess we, I I mean, ouch. I will kill you. I will kill you. Hmm. I've actually haven't explored up here yet. And guys, one interesting thing is it looks like these things reset or something because the door is closed. Yeah, like we're I have to insert these artifacts again. So it looks like this reset. What is this? Cool, and the ion stuff all reset too. Hmm. I am gonna die here in a bit because of the food situation, but. Okay, so guys. I think for now then, I think it's gonna be fine. Next episode, we'll gather all the stuff, see if anything's different, and then, I guess, we will see. So guys, if you did enjoy today's episode, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.